Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. This is all the stuff that I think I'm going to need. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and according to a lot of people out there, this is what you must have. I don't think I need all of this stuff, frankly. And a lot of it will probably go into our storage locker. So let me in detail and close up show you what I've gotten. Let's start off with the Anderson Hitches. We got this from Ben, our child. And here's how to pack the box. Cute. Stickers. Oh, and look. Instructions on how to use it. Oh, came with this. All right, didn't know that. Yeah, I don't do, don't need to get these anymore. And okay, this surface seems a little bit too slippery for me. Don't like that part. So I got anti-slip tape. Which I'm going to tape on this. So it doesn't slip. <clears throat> Next item is a called a trailer aid. It's from when you get a flat tire. It's supposed to roll the one that doesn't have a flat up here so you can change the other tire. I haven't changed the tire in 35 years. We're probably going to just call AAA. Okay. Okay, then we have wheel chalk locks. So no one runs off with the RV or it doesn't get stolen while it's in storage. It's gonna be our one of the security systems. Okay, electrical. This thing is called a dog bone. We have a 50 amp RV and here is a normal 120 and then a 30 which goes into a 50 if we should need it in a campsite that doesn't have 50 amp plugs okay and this humongous heavy thing is a surge protector suckers heavy and then just a regular extension cord. Okay, this is called a hitch grip. So it grips your hitch so you don't get as dirty and I think I'm still gonna get dirty. And this is a hitch cover. Isn't this cute? It's a ram for the ram. Oh! Okay, and you're supposed to lube this little area right here it's called the hitch ball so I got hitch ball lube so I can hitch so I can lube my balls okay this is a sewer hose support for the sewer hose jack stand for when the RV is down and jack pads and I did not I was not aware that this kit had jack pads already so we have extras okay this is I got a Lysol disinfectant spray I was told that you need to disinfect the water hose where the water, where the water comes from. Okay. We have a blue garden hose for fresh water, along with a what is this? Pressure regulator, water pressure regulator. So when I'm damaged, the 
water pipes inside the airstream and a water filter along with plumber's tape water bandit, I don't know if I'm going to need that yet and an elbow hook hose elbow okay. that's what we have in here Okay, this is the black water garden hose. It's black. The black. And a sewer wrench. We should need one. Hopefully never need that, but it's there. Okay, we got X chalks. So the RV doesn't roll away. Really nice. They're not that heavy. And then this tub is the sewer hose. I don't know if this tub is actually going to work out or not. I was told by the RV people. I guess that goes in the ground. That the rhino hoses not fit in the compartment that they have designated for sewer hoses this is the diameter is too thick so I might have to get another one just specifically for Airstream all right that's what we have so far for the outside of the RV it seems like a lot to me okay thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of this and uh, following my misadventures with Wanda. Okay, bye.